Hey guys, Maritza here. I just took a shower. Don't have any makeup on. You know, I'm not not in the mood to go and do all the makeup stuff. You know, I do that during the course of the day. And uh, women are not all about looks and makeup, although this is the kind of world that we're living in. You know, it's really interesting how a community who wants to be respected, who don't like to be misgendered. This light is right on my face. Give me a second. They don't like being misgendered. They don't like being dead named, as they call it, which makes no sense to me. But let's let's just let's just see that. They sure as heck love to continue to refer to me by my old name that I had legally changed to back in 2003. I lived with that name and I lived with the identity of a trans guy. But I detransitioned. I legally went in front of a court, which, by the way, this individual had, uh, made a video about me, um, and I, I linked it to my Facebook. Beetlebug is their name, and I'm probably giving them weight. They had maybe two views, and because I've shared this video, now their channel is, uh, you know, is gaining some traction there. They're riding on my wave. That's what they love to do. There's a legal process that detransitioners have to go through. So what you claim in your video that is just getting your own name back, it doesn't work that way. You have to pay for a court hearing for legal name change. I had to go to a doctor to have the doctor give me an examination to say that I am biologically a female because that's what I am. This whole legal fiction thing that this whole trans agenda is trying to push on people and it's based all on lies. That's all it is. No one could ever change gender. This person quoted on their video that I will always be a trans man. That is a lie. I am nothing but a woman. I was born a baby girl and I will die an old lady. It doesn't matter what procedures doctors try to do to you. You will never be nothing other than the sex that you were assigned at birth. My mother gave birth to a baby girl. My birth certificate has never been altered. It reads baby girl. I was born Maritza. Okay. All of you are trying to make fun of me, trying to say that trans women look better than I do, that I look like a, a monkey with a wig. Ha ha ha. You know, that just shows how shallow and what this is all about for you. Fetishistic men that want to portray as females. And because I am speaking truth, which you're calling hate. Truth is never hate. Truth is truth and it will set you free. No matter what you think, no matter what you feel, you can't alter truth. You may not believe in God and this person um, that created that video by the name of Beetlebug, nice name, Beetlebug. You know, you claim to be agnostic. You claim all sorts of things. You stated all sorts of lies. You don't know me. You're going based on what you've heard my ex. Two people that are that are feud because of a divorce or for whatever reason, for whatever it was, you can't go by that. See, I never ever mentioned them by name. I never spread things about them because I have integrity. I refuse to you know, do that. When their first breakup, it got ugly and I vowed I would never do that again. You know, I wish them well. I would never, it's like today they called after I made that first video and they told me they didn't do it. I said, no, you didn't do it, but you're inciting people to do this. And they made a video telling people to leave me alone because they realized that, you know, I, <laughs> they went a bit far. And in this community, there's a lot of people that are mentally not well. And I'm stating things that, rubs you wrong. I'm, I'm creating, you know, there's conviction being created here. You don't have to watch my channel. My channel is for people that want to hear the word of God. They want to hear that there is a chance in repentance and to starting a new life. When you're telling people that no one can detransition, you're spreading lies because I have detransitioned. There's many, 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 many people who have detransitioned. On your video, you tell people that you're on medication. I've never needed to be on medication. 
There was one time that I took antidepressants and that was when my grandmother passed away. And my grandmother was very close to me. I loved her dearly. And I was during doing uh, finals. I'm sorry for the noise there. I don't know what they're doing. First, they took my water out this morning. Now they're, they're just doing something. So I apologize for that. But I've never been diagnosed with any bipolar or anything of that nature. As a healthcare provider who required a license, professional license, I had to undergo psychological testing. So you're basing your words on your own understanding and lies. You may not agree with what I'm saying, and that's okay. You're entitled to not agree with what I'm saying, but you're not entitled to, you know, totally defame me, slander my name, sharing my images. You may not believe in God, but because I believe in God, it doesn't make me delusional. I have that right, and people have believed in God since the beginning of time. I'm sorry that you don't or you claim agnostic, whatever that means, and I know what it means, but I'm trying to be, you know, Either you believe in God or you don't believe in God. And then you're calling me delusional because I have a relationship with, with Father, yet you're not delusional because you have feelings of being trapped in the wrong body. Think about that. Think about what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. So I don't have the right to educate people, to give people hope, to get them out of this mess because it is a mess. 38 years of, of not finding peace but you don't have a right to make fun of me. You don't have a right to tell people that I'm crazy. And all of you that are writing comments that think they know me, these people are like, you know, saying, oh, wait till, wait till you get to know who she really is. Really, you, you know who I really am? Come on now, people, give me a break. So when I was waving the flag for y'all, when I was in that Maury Povich, Montel Williams, when I was all the circuit telling people, when I brought... Jazz Jennings into the picture. Everybody loved me because I was I was sane then, right? I was okay. I was cool back then. But now because I've seen the light, I've seen the truth. Now I'm telling people that this is not the solution. I'm being truthful. I'm being kind. I'm being loving. You may not see it that way because you're not hearing what you want to hear. Understand that. If you're not hearing what you want to hear, of course, you're going to be upset at me. Of course, you're going to call me every name in the book. Of course, you're going to create your own understanding of who I am. But you're wrong. All of you are wrong and all of you are liars. I had a friend who I thought was a friend for years lie flat out about that I am miserable now that I'm detransitioned. I am the happiest that I've ever been. You just don't understand the peace of mind that you have when you no longer have to lie. When you no longer have to create one lie to hide another lie to hide another lie because you know when you talk to people and you're talking about what you did when you were a little kid and you have to like make up the storyline as if you were a little boy but no because i wasn't ever a little boy i was raised a little girl this life is based on lies and don't believe me you'll find out for yourselves through the years i lived it 22 years as a lesbian and 16 years as a trans guy. I have every right to share my story, to share my views, and to share my faith. You have every right to not listen to my channel. What are you so concerned about? What are you so worried about? Why do you have to make videos about me? You couldn't you didn't even have what what two subscribers. So you're not trying to get some some notoriety or some popularity by talking about me? I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty low and pretty lame in my humble opinion. You know, making fun, all these people making fun of me, you know, doing all these different things. And it's just like, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. I'm entitled, you know, I'm entitled to talk about God, to talk about my detransition. But the fact thing is that most of you transitioners want to totally deny the fact that we exist because it doesn't play along with your agenda. Well, we exist and I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to shut down. I'm not going to do anything no matter what you do. I mean, you said using my email address to sign me up for all sorts of things. And they, I get an email, of course, nothing gets done with it. Cause all I do is I just block the email and I send it to spam. I'm not going to confirm anything. 
you know, stop wasting your time. How old are all of you? Two years old? Really? I mean, what kind of games are you playing? Are you that messed up in the head? I remember I used to be a moderator years ago for a doctor in Florida who performs sex reassignment surgery. And I remember he once told me not to really pay too much mind to some of these individuals because they weren't right in the head. And this is a doctor that does surgery for you guys. People know you guys aren't right. You know, and I, and I, you know what? I still love every single one of you. And I pray for all of you each day that you heal, that you too can see the light as I did. Because when you get older and you start, you know, beauty is no longer a thing because that's what most of you do this for. When beauty is no longer a thing and you find yourself alone and you've lost all your friends and all your family and you have nothing left, transition ain't going to do a darn thing for you. I may not be the most beautiful woman now because I did this to myself and this is why I'm trying to stop every person that I could possibly stop from doing this. So they don't have to go through the pain, the health issues, and have to one day face themselves as time goes on. I do this for them. If you don't want to listen, you don't have to. There's nothing here for you. I may not be beautiful. I may need to wear a wig now until I'm able to get a hair transplant, until I'm able to get myself to where I feel comfortable with myself. But in the meantime, no matter what I do or don't do, my chromosomes are XX. I'm a woman, no matter what. I was born a baby girl and I will die an old lady. I'll be at peace because when I get old and get put in a nursing home, I don't have to worry about people freaking out about body parts not matching or about things not being right. Many women get hysterectomy and get mastectomies and they're not men. Most women who get a mastectomy because of cancer end up getting breast implants to make themselves feel whole. It's not a fetish. Unlike many of you that are doing this for many different reasons, but you don't have a right to do what you're doing. I have a right to be able to educate, to talk about my God. Doesn't make me delusional or crazy. I have every right to try to warn people about not doing this. So I'm gonna kindly ask you guys to please stop. You do your thing, I will do mine. The world is big enough to coexist. I appreciate my ex making the last video because I believe that she incited a lot of this, but I appreciate the fact that they did that. And I know, and, and they have mentioned that they still love me. It's unfortunate that our relationship did not work out. We were in two different places in life. I don't wish them any ill. I wish them all the best in the world. I pray for them daily. So all of you that are loving the drama, loving the lies, loving the whole battle, get a life. Seriously. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just spreading truth and educating people for those that need to hear about detransitioning, for those that are struggling with their homosexuality and want out. There should be Two sides to each coin. Two, there should be two different ways. You want to preach your thing? Let me preach mine. The world's big enough for both of us. So um, please stop. You know, I don't sit there and, and, and call you out by name. I don't sit there and, and pick on you. You guys are just defaming my character. You're trying to hurt me. And that's called narcissistic rage. And you know what I'm talking about. And I will have a show on Friday, deeply explaining it. You did it to Bailey. Back in the day when Bailey talked about the AGP thing, because you guys don't want to hear what you don't want to hear. Learn to develop a little bit of a thick skin. I pray to God that you find your path and you find your peace, all of you. 
There is a God and there is a heaven and there is a hell. You may not believe it, but you will see. But in the meantime, I have the right in my religious freedom. Last I checked, this is still America. And that's why the Europeans came over here to have freedom of speech, freedom of religion. I have every right to glorify my father because my father has done so much. After living 38 years in hell, I finally have peace. And I want those that are willing to carry their cross and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior to find that peace as well, because that peace can be yours too. So stop being so selfish and self-centered and realize that yes, people do detransition. And yes, people do leave behind the so-called trans identity. I don't identify as a trans man. I was never ever a man. I've always been a woman, a woman that was lost, but now she's found. And I proudly say that I am the daughter of the most high. I love you guys. I really do. But please learn to love yourselves too. This is not a war. Not between me towards you. There's a spiritual war going on for your soul. I'm just doing what father's asking me to do. And I do love you. And I will continue to pray for all of you. Have a good one and take care.